challenging requirements. So before we start, let's discuss what I mean with challenging requirements. So we have the word requirements and we're going to challenge them. So challenging requirements is about making sure that we build something that the company really needs and not blindly follow what a product owner or a subject matter expert wants or thinks that the company needs, right? So we want to make sure that we build something valuable for the company. So what are requirements anyway, right? So let's discuss and define requirements. So requirements describe capabilities or features required to solve a business problem or achieve an outcome. So why do we want to, you know, challenge requirements? Right. So on Dynamics Week 5 or Power Platform Project, I have seen mainly two reasons. Right. So reason number one, we want to avoid complex automation, at least not, not too early. Right. Uh, for most clients, you know, implement Dynamics Week 5 um, or the Power Platform is part of a bigger digital transformation. And often your clients will want to use this opportunity, you know, to automate processes as much as possible. Right. Um, and look, don't get me wrong, there is nothing with automation of processes, but it has to be done at the right time, right? Rolling out a platform like Dynamics 365 or the Power Platform, especially to big projects like hundreds of users, it's already a big change for the company itself. It's already a process change. So introducing complex automation on top of that is simply not going to help your client, right? So you need to guide your client to go step by step Take them, take them through this journey and um, kind of guide them and explain that um, they might not be ready from day one to observe all this change coming at them. The second reason that I see is that often client thinks, you know, they think in current ways of working, right? So, you know, maybe currently um, they work less dig digitally, right? So they you know, have Excel spreadsheet, they use Outlook, they have outdated systems or disparate systems uh, not integrated between each other. They work with paper documents, etc. right? So, and this way of working translates sometimes into requirements, right? So if your client, you know, is currently making copies of every single documents, Excel sheet, uh, email before they send, you know, those documents to another team because effectively sending this they need to keep a copy somewhere um, it doesn't mean that when you implement dynamics physics 5 when you want to reassign records to another team that you have to make copies for the originating team right before you reassign or send the record to the destination team right so there is another way of thinking there is a mindset that needs to, to change right with with such in, with implementing such tools so how are we going to challenge requirements, right? So let me start with um, how not to challenge requirements, right? So try to avoid, uh, you know, confront confronting directly your clients with kind of provo provocative words. Uh, don't say that their ideas are stupid or let them think that, right? That you think that. Um, Make sure effectively that you understand first the why of their requirements first, because, you know, before really challenging them, uh, sometimes your clients will actually have valid reasons why they want to do things in a certain way, right? That you're not even aware of. So before you criticize, investigate and do your research. So the best way I think to challenge requirements is to ask the right questions, right? So ask why things are being done a certain way try to understand read really, the current process and, and what they want to achieve um, and if your plan still wants complex automation try by questioning them to see if all the rules are covered in the acceptance criteria right so ask question to see if all the exceptions are covered and handled by the rules you know if you want to automate the process with complex rules all the rules needs to be there the exceptions i mean um, will be difficult to handle um, or you have to have a specific process to handle the exceptions. so make sure that you, the clients have thought about that and again by asking the right question you can guide your clients and you can yourself very quickly realize if uh, you know your client is ready for such complex automation or if there are gaps that they still need to cover 
um, and and kind of think about this uh, a bit more more deeply. Um, and by questioning them, often you will see that they will realize that they are actually not ready for such a complex automation. And hopefully they will realize and tell you, Danny, you know, let's start simple, let's start with a simple process, and then we can see how we go, and then we improve it on, on along the way. And finally, um, you know, what I often do is if I'm uncertain that I can challenge my client because it's a new client and I'm not really sure how they react to this, I simply ask permission for it, right? So I ask the question. So I would say, you know, would you mind if I challenge some of your requirements to see if there are ways to simplify some of them, right? Um, as, and I explain, as I want to avoid, you know, building complex automation or complex feature, if I can reuse standard configuration, for example, to meet your requirements. Yes, you might have two extra click to do, but it will avoid me building a complex code or a complex automation to meet that requirements that you will have to, you know, will have to analyze first, will have to test and will have to maintain down the track. So it will save us a lot of energy and time. And in most situations, your clients will be happy actually for you to challenge them. Often they will be actually pleased that you ask that question. 